Welcome to the video series on the Vermont Green Streets Guide, a resource for planning and building green infrastructure within our communities. In this video, you will hear Becky Tharp lead you through Section 7, Green Street and Green Parking Lots Examples. Residential streets offer some of the best opportunities for stormwater management because they often have the most space available for landscape stormwater solutions have fewer utility conflicts than busier commercial streets, and residents often take care of these landscaped areas as the front of their properties. This residential street example illustrates how stormwater curb extensions can be easily retrofitted alongside the existing curb line. Runoff from the street can simply enter these landscaped areas and overflow into the existing drain inlets. Because this street has a lot of unused on-street parking, Installing curb extensions does not adversely impact existing parking. With the new stormwater curb extensions and street trees in place, the narrower street provides a more aesthetically pleasing and potentially safer traffic environment. Residential streets that have a wide right-of-way and do not need on-street parking are good candidates for retrofitting with a green gutter system. A green gutter is a narrow stormwater planter that can be placed alongside streets. This green street example shows that removing a few feet of asphalt on one side of this street provides enough space for a green gutter system without impeding two-way travel along the street. Many residential streets in Vermont are overly wide and have large impervious areas. Green streets reduce impervious area and help green the character of the street by introducing vegetated swales along the street curb lines. Runoff from the street enters these landscaped areas and overflows into the existing drain inlets. If a street is particularly wide, introducing bike lanes in conjunction with stormwater systems helps provide enhanced mobility for all users. Stormwater curb extensions are not limited to intersection conditions, but can also be located along a street's mid-block. Mid-block curb extensions can be designed in many shapes and either in symmetrical or staggered pattern to create a traffic calming feature. This Green Street example shows mid-block curb extensions used on both sides of the street in a staggered pattern. Many residential streets in Vermont have intersections with acute angles and do not conform to the standard city grid pattern. This can sometimes result in an inefficient layout with open swaths of impervious asphalt area and difficult crossings for pedestrians. Depending on how much right-of-way is available, these street intersections can be realigned to increase spatial efficiency and create opportunities for stormwater facilities and enhance pedestrian crossings. This green street example shows how a four point intersection with odd angles can be realigned with new rain gardens and pedestrian crossings. In residential neighborhoods where there is a considerable amount of landscape space between the street edge and the sidewalk zone, Larger rain gardens can be installed to accept runoff. These rain gardens can conform to any shape and can receive runoff from the street and the residential lot. This Green Street example shown below is a rain garden that captures runoff from both the street and surrounding residential lots. Many residential driveways in Vermont are long and continuous areas of asphalt or impermeable gravel that contribute stormwater runoff to the site. The following residential driveway examples illustrate how existing concrete or gravel driveways can be retrofitted with pervious interlocking concrete pavers, driveway grass strips, or reinforced grass paving systems. The following are successful built examples of residential green streets, including stormwater curb extensions, green gutters, vegetated swales, rain gardens, and pervious pavers in driveways. Arterial streets within commercial areas are also prime candidates for green street applications, as they often have considerable space that can be converted into stormwater landscape. This green street example shows how a lawn strip along an arterial street can be easily retrofitted with a vegetated swale, capturing runoff before it enters a drain inlet. Retrofitting underused landscape space is often a very cost-effective way to create a green street. Where the native soils have moderate to high infiltration rates, Simply regrading the soil, installing new landscaping, and constructing a series of curb cuts allows water to enter and exit the new vegetated soil. These types of simple retrofit opportunities should be prioritized in Vermont. 
Along select arterial streets, converting some on-street parking into stormwater curb extensions provides room for green space and street trees. Smaller curb extensions could be placed close together or conversely, larger curb extensions could be spaced further apart. This newly introduced landscape area next to the sidewalk can help buffer the pedestrian zone from high-speed traffic as well as treat stormwater runoff. Where arterial streets with perimeter grass strips too narrow to accommodate stormwater swales, they can still fit a narrower green gutter system. This green street example shows replacing an existing lawn strip with a shallow green gutter. The green gutter also helps provide a buffer between the high speed traffic of the street and the pedestrians using the sidewalk. The following are successful built examples of arterial green streets, including vegetated swales, green gutters, stormwater curb extensions, rain gardens, stormwater planters, and pervious pavers in the parking zone of the street. Downtown main streets can be made safer, greener, and more attractive to shoppers by introducing green street stormwater tools. Downtown main streets at mid-block and at intersections can benefit from additional green space in the form of curb extensions. Also known as bump outs, curb extensions can soften the look of the street, provide space for stormwater management, provide refuge for pedestrian crossings, or create opportunities for outdoor seating. This green street example illustrates how a curb extension captures a portion of the existing parking zone with a stormwater curb extension to manage street runoff. Angled parking along downtown main streets is very common in Vermont. Although parallel parking is a more efficient use of space for parked cars, there are some green street options available for an area with angled parking. One potential green street scenario is to consolidate one or more parking spaces into a stormwater curb extension. This green street example converts angled parking spaces into curb extensions, adding more landscaping to the street, which also has the potential to enhance the aesthetic of storefront businesses. Where space allows, stormwater planters can be added to the furnishing zone. The portion of the sidewalk used for street trees, landscaping, transit stops, street lights, and site furnishings, while retaining on-street parking. Pedestrian circulation can be accommodated by creating walkways in between the planters and a pedestrian egress zone adjacent to on-street parking. This green street example shows how a flow-through or infiltration planter can be inserted between the sidewalk and parking zone of the street. In more urban downtown areas, Using planters is advantageous because they allow for stormwater treatment in limited spaces. On some downtown main streets, there is parking only on one side of the street, leaving the opportunity to create stormwater planters between the street and the sidewalk zone without the need of a parking egress zone. This green street example shows an existing downtown main street with a large stormwater planter replacing a lawn area. Some downtown main streets experience heavy amounts of pedestrian traffic and may not have sufficient space to introduce stormwater curb extensions or stormwater planters. However, pervious paving can be used in the furnishing zone of the street and can manage sidewalk runoff and provide a stable and aesthetic street condition. This example shows a retrofit of a worn downtown grass parking zone into a pervious paving condition. The following are successful built examples of downtown green streets, including stormwater planters, green gutters, stormwater curb extensions, pervious pavers, rain gardens, and urban tree wells. Parking lots, both large and small, offer incredible opportunities to manage stormwater using both landscape stormwater tools and pervious paving systems. This example shows a parking lot with stormwater planters replacing empty parking stalls. This is one of the simplest parking lot retrofit actions to implement. The best approach is to convert the parking stalls immediately adjacent to a drain inlet. Depending upon the size and the parking demand of a lot, a series of parking stalls may be consolidated into stormwater planters. This example shows a parking lot where stormwater drains into the center of the parking drive aisles, commonly referred to as an internally drained parking lot, as opposed to sheet flow to the periphery of the site. This is a common condition, especially with small scale parking lots. Without redesigning the drainage system, the best and most practical option is to install pervious paving. 
The illustrated example below employs pervious paving within the parking stalls and allows any excess stormwater runoff to drain into the existing storm inlet. Frequently, parking lots drain surface runoff towards the perimeter of the site for capture by drain inlets. In this example, there's already a grass drainage swale at the perimeter parking edge. However, the rim of the overflow inlet is low and allows no retention of stormwater. The short roots of lawn provide little uptake benefit and there is lack of plant diversity. This example shows a more functional vegetated soil condition. Introducing more landscaping and trees within large urban parking lots also keeps asphalt surfaces cooler and helps reduce the urban heat island effect. This parking lot example shows the length of the parking stalls shortened to provide space for a vegetated swale or planter. Depending on the primary pedestrian traffic flow, additional space may be needed to assure that people can safely cross the landscape area without damaging plant material. In many situations, if drainage is flowing towards a space, a few feet of linear space can be taken up in a parking lot for conversion to a green gutter system. Many parking areas are loaded on one side of a drive aisle, or there may be a few feet at the front of parking stalls that can provide enough room for a green gutter. Often drive aisles are oversized and can be reduced in width to accommodate a green gutter. To further enhance stormwater management on site, pervious paving and a green gutter system can be combined as shown in this parking lot example. The following matrix illustrates where certain green street tools are more effectively used in certain street or parking lot conditions. For each street or parking lot condition, a color-coded dot describes whether the stormwater tool is recommended, possible but requires specific design considerations, or not recommended. Thank you for watching. Next, you will hear Sophie Sauvé lead you through Section 8, Plant Selection Considerations.